Domino started in 1997, making e-learning courses on CD-ROM. But the rise of the internet meant it wasn't long before we had to start innovating. We moved to online courses and created our first learning content management system in 2002. That original LCMS went through five major versions until we saw the next change looming for our industry. Mobile devices and the death of flash files. So in 2011, we launched Claro. Claro was one of the first HTML5 authoring tools, so Claro content worked across all devices. Claro's second innovation was its easy-to-use authoring experience, cloud-based and collaborative. In 2012, we added XAPI support to Claro, adopting the standard while it was still in development and known as Tin Can API. In 2014, we released the Domino mobile app to support offline courses and integration with third-party LMSs. At the same time, responsive web design was revolutionizing online content. And Domino continued to innovate, releasing our Flow authoring option in 2016. Flow brought modern responsive design to e-learning without sacrificing an author's creativity and power. In 2018, we brought Claro and Flow together in Domino 1 and added Capture, our feature for software simulations. Domino 1 is the most powerful web-based e-learning authoring platform ever, but we could be a little biased. We also launched instructional designers in offices drinking coffee, affectionately known as idiotic. The live weekly video session promotes innovation and excellence in learning and development, even among non-Domino users. Idiotic's live sessions and video and audio podcasts have been viewed tens of thousands of times. And in 2019, we launched Convey, our dynamic content delivery option so authors can rapidly publish and update content without loading packages into their LMS. So, what's next for Domino? Well, we always have an eye on the horizon, anticipating the next challenges that will shape e-learning. Because at Domino, we have a proven history of innovation.